this is a test to see how everything works with this. Does it sound good? Does it look good? Um, from my point of view, it seems like this is going to be pretty dope. And this is going to be the thing that brings back Converse and Commute. Or is it Commute and Commerce? Commute and Converse. But yeah, this is, this is kind of what it would look like. This is the filming angle. And uh, this is what it sounds like when I'm driving slowly down the street with the windows closed. Um, we're gonna see what it sounds like. So before I hit 22, let's see what it sounds like at moderate pace with the windows down. It might be that that is uh, in the perfect little pocket to not pick up the horrible sound of the windows because it's in the center. But I'm not sure. It might completely pick up the sound of the road. It might be the worst thing ever. But, uh, could be great. Yeah, so commute and converse is gonna be a thing again. All right, so this is driving 32 miles an hour. This is me talking at, I guess, a normal rate of speech. For me, I'm a little louder than your average person. But, you know, I am talking directly into the microphone, essentially. Um, I think this is gonna sound fine. And this does not obscure my driving at all. It looks a lot more steady than anything else we had had in the past. Hopefully this will be the answer that I've been looking for. Uh, it's attached to the rear view mirror, which uh, currently I actually can't see out of. It's weird though, because I had to downgrade my racing mirror to the regular stock mirror. So this, this is my racing mirror. And uh, now I just have what the car comes with and it. I feel like I'm driving blind because I'm used to having, I'm used to it being so that if I look at my rear mirror, if I look in the rear mirror now, I can see just the rear, view mirror, the rear view window. I used to be able to see out of both side windows. That's how how wide. So like, uh, let's see. This is about how wide my standard mirror is compared to this. So that's a big difference. But if it means the show will have a quality cam that's you know, that's worth it. I potentially can put an extension piece on this or even lower where it is mounted from and then be able to use it. I'm gonna play with that actually because it doesn't matter much if we can get a good show if I end up crashing because I don't see somebody trying to turn on me. But you know, I'm an American, I will adapt. It feels good to be able to record in the car. It feels good. And uh, as well, if I'm recording in the car, that means the camera is again with me all the time and that's a huge benefit. We're about to go on to 22. 22 will be the true test of if if uh, if you can hear with the windows down because I don't have any AC in this car and without the windows down you'll be fucking dying. You'll be dying bruh. Let's see what the music sounds like. So I had a thought of putting some royalty-free music on a loop CD behind us if we are in fact going to make this an unedited podcast. Now, I don't know if we can do it that way because we do end up with a little bit of pauses here and there, but it would be very nice to be able to just, nope, I drop it in, you know, add annotations at the end, put a, you know, an intro, an outro, maybe a bumper, and then bam, we're done. But uh, at the moment, you know, we got to see how it goes. But we are going to take this on a real road test tomorrow, going to Maine, not Maine, Delaware, We're going to Delaware. So if it works on the way to Delaware, I know it'll work on the way to work. And that's a no pressure, just fucking around situation. So this is me driving 51 miles an hour on 22. I'm not sure how legibly you'll be able to make out what I'm saying here. With any luck, though, it's going to come out crystal clear. Cr crystal clear. But, you know, if the worst case is a little bit of this. So this is, you know, 51 miles an hour with the windows up. But I can already feel myself getting hot. I wonder if, uh, I don't know if that's better or worse. This is the sunroofs open. a little air, but honestly not too much. I need to set 
got the GoPro up, so it's filming the wrong way. So if we end up encountering some uh, some idiocy along the way, we could, we could cut to that video. But no, this is pretty dope. I'm enjoying this. I like having the dash cam. I like it a lot, actually. So with, with the sunroof open, it's not unbearable, but it's not even a hot day right now. It's 75 degrees, and I'm a little hot. <laughs> I think that I would be... Uh, just a shiny, sweaty mess. Also, at the time we'd be driving, we'd probably want the sunroof to be closed because we wouldn't want the, the glare on the lens. In fact, I'm not even sure there could be a glare lens right now. I have the uh, LCD screen closed, so I can't see what's being recorded because when it's open, it does block a little too much of my view. Oh wait, this is my turn. Made that. Yeah, so we're on our way right now, heading to uh, the Target, looking for some small picture frames. Um, I saw some there a couple days ago. Um, they didn't have a lot, but I'm hoping I can pick some up. I'm doing a flea market uh, coming up this uh, this Saturday in uh, Asbury Park, the Punk Rock Flea Market, and I'm looking for something that if people want to buy smaller items and not the big um, 8x10s and uh, 16 by, uh, by 20s and whatnot. I can have something where they could buy like a three pack of little pictures or just like maybe magnet wallet size pictures. Um, you know, see what we can do. I do hate investing in more items to have a wider, uh, a wider amount of sales if you don't end up selling them, but you always have to enter this thinking you're going to sell everything. And uh, hopefully we'll make a nice profit. Uh, honestly, we only really need to make back 60 bucks. 60 bucks is the table fee. And uh, after we make that back, you know, it's all gravy. Because it's a fun experience going down with the family and Babs. Which, you know, is super fun because it can be a real pain in the ass to sit there for, you know, eight hours. Just dealing with people. It's nice to be able to walk away from the table and know you have someone you trust. That can, you know, sell merch while you're gone and not get, like, you know, taken advantage of or just not know what to say. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do some three-packs, probably for, like, the Mighty Boosh stuff, like maybe the Moon, Old Greg, Spirit of Jazz in, like, one set. Uh, they don't have a... I didn't see a four-pack when I was there. I would like to do a four-pack because uh, we do more in Mighty Boosh stuff could sell more stuff like that and they could pick and it's a super profitable way to do it because selling them as uh three four by sixes four by sixes are like free to print while eight by tens are like two bucks all right so let's see was that all in frame we're gonna stop on that all right so i now have some extra frames to sell four by sixes in, in three pack form. And the best news of all is while I was on the enormous line because they don't have any registers open at Target, I was playing Clash Royale. Clash Royale, an amazing game. If you haven't played it, I recommend you download it. It is free and it is so good. And I've been fighting all day playing this stupid game, trying to get to the next, uh, like, uh, I guess you'd call it like a stage or platform of fighting to unlock these new characters. And I just got myself a baby dragon, and a baby dragon is so sweet. And I'm uh, very excited. Uh, I played three games online with this newly unlocked baby dragon, and every game was a victory because baby dragon is fucking awesome. And uh, I replaced my musketeer person. They're the same point cost, except the baby dragon is flying, and not every unit can attack flying units. It's so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Clash Royale, so good. You're also like crack. Um, I could actually quit crack. I don't think I could quit. Uh, I don't think I, I could quit Crash Royale. It's uh, it's too damn good. Too damn good. So maybe don't play Crash uh, Clash Royale. You you may become hopelessly addicted and lose your house because while it is a free game, you can play for free. I play for free. You certainly have the ability to drop actual cash and lose actual money, and uh, you know not be able to make rent or buy food or have a good life in any means. But assuming you have the willpower, which at the moment I have, where you're not spending actual money, it's fucking awesome. All right, so now I'm headed home. It's almost eight o'clock. I still have a lot of work to do for this flea market before I go on vacation. I have to go through my inventory and see what I still have copies of, you know, my prints that I sell. Um, I have not made a big printout since the last flea market because I went so big that uh, I've been just selling off the merch I have. 
but since it's been a little while since the last flea market and I have been selling things, I am running out of my more popular prints. Uh, the most popular one for me is uh, my Mighty Boosh stuff, the, uh, the old Greg, uh, the Moon, very popular. So that's why I got these, uh, these three packs so I can sell prints. Um, I'm gonna try to do Spirit of Jazz, Old Greg, and who the fuck is my third one? It's odd that I can't think of it. It's Old Greg, it's Spirit of Jazz. They're all ones that Noel Fielding plays. Who else does Noel Fielding play in the super popular world? So he's the moon also, but the moon is not the one that I'm trying to think of. It's somebody else that has hair. The Hitcher! So it's the Hitcher, Old Greg, and, uh, no, I forgot the other one. Hitcher, Old Greg, what? And Spur of Jazz. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going fucking crazy. They say sugar rots your brain, and all I eat is sugar, so my brain is like mush. But, mush can be fun. It's like pudding. Mmm, back to sugar. See, I gotta go home, I gotta go through the inventory, I gotta figure out which ones I do have to print, so I'll just select the, uh, the new sizes, because I got them printed out 4x6s and 5x7s for the first time. I have not, at a, you know, in any means, uh, sold small photos like that before, uh, small prints, but I'm thinking that will add some grabbing photo feature, so people who, you know, oh, I don't have room for a big pick, so I don't have money, I can sell those real small, uh, you know, get the, get the business card out there, get more people just on board with the brand and shopping and buying. Like, I get a shit ton of favorites and, uh, and stuff on Etsy every day, but favorites, you know, they put you in their box, they can come back to you easily, but you want, you want that sale, so I do sell things cheaper in person than I do online, and at any time I am selling things in person, if you don't have money, um, I do give a promo code, so if you go to Etsy, you can get free shipping, just because you couldn't buy it there. If you buy it that day, you will get free shipping. I'm thinking this cam is pretty good. It, at the very least, it, it seems to be less shaky, and it does have a better image because it is centered. It's centered and up, so you're seeing like the whole car. Now my car's kind of a mess right now, but seeing the whole car is pretty cool. Now at the moment, I have it tilted slightly towards the driver's side, but if I have a co-pilot, I will tilt it this way, and you'll see a little bit out of both windows. It's just visual interest. It makes it a little bit, a little bit something, you know? I should get like one of those things you have for little kids that go right here to make the seatbelt a little more comfortable, but it should say like the name of my show or something. That could be interesting. Get one of those custom made. I'm sure someone uh, I know sews or, or I can get one done on Etsy or something. Uh, so I, the whole ride so far, I've got the windows up. I'm fucking dying, so windows are going down now. Something I do like about keeping the monitor down, while it does limit some of my view of what I can see out the road, it definitely makes it feel more real. Like right now, I don't really feel like I'm talking to anyone because I can't see anything and the camera's so small. It, it, uh, it loses something. But th this could definitely be a means of me having some conversations with the world if I get a topic and I can keep talking continuously where I don't have to keep editing things. Now this is pretty dope. I actually wouldn't mind having a second one of these cameras like this leaving the car all the time, but they're a little pricey. This is the, uh, what is this, the Vixia, like, X something. Ugh. But it's a, it's a dope little vlogging camera, and it's proved to be very useful. Uh, it's it's the, the camera I use for almost the entirety of Thrifty Monday. If you're not familiar with Thrifty Monday, a show, you can find it on my hub channel, uh, Just Daggers. Which is weird, when I was talking to some people from London, whenever I said Just Daggers to, to give them direction to find where they would find the, the, the drawing of them on YouTube for my show Five Minutes or Less, uh, every one of them spelled Just, G-U-S-T. I wonder if that's a thing with like putting U's in color. I wonder if they spell Just with a G or if that's just a weird foreign thing. They're like, Just with a G, G-U-S-T. No, Just, J-U-S-T. Weird though. All right, so I'm almost about home. And, uh, like I said, I got a lot of work still to go. I have to go through all my, my things. Fucking, so every time I sell a print, the print comes in a plastic bag. Uh, bag, uh, term I use, but it, it's really a, uh, 
a sleeve, a protective sleeve that you put prints in, and that, that protective sleeve then gets a cardboard backing, and then it has a, a piece of, uh, you, you peel a piece and it's, it has a sticky adhesive to keep it sealed shut and perfectly framed to the 8x10 print. So the, the thing I sell, uh, that cardboard backing has not come yet, so all the prints that I have ready to go, I'm sitting here, I can bag everything, but I can't seal it because I don't have the cardboard in. Um, and also, when I do seal it, I always throw a business card in there because you want that return business. I know I forget someone's name immediately, so having it sealed inside the picture they bought, just uh, make sure it actually gets home with them. All right, so I'm home now, uh, at the corner, about to turn into my house, and uh, I may pick up later, maybe not. But yeah, excited to check this footage out to see how this looks, see if you can actually hear me when the windows are down. All right, we're home. See, this is, I f with shit like this. I don't f with shit like her jacking off.